being built right now and this is this is at the probably other end of the economic spectrum and this yacht is the biggest and longest super yacht ever built and it has 39 apartments in it condos what's it called i want to look it up oh fuck um i'll find it hang on it's uh it, it's it, it is 39 apartments in it and each one is um longest um the azam called yeah here it is it's called somnio s o m n i o and it has these apartments in it and you can buy the apartments starting at 11 million dollars ooh that's not so bad so I'm this boat it's will just full time <laughs> be circling the world and you fly into wherever the nearest major city is and then chopper to the boat and you have an apartment on the boat. It's yours permanently. Um, and uh, I mean, imagine 11 million dollars for an apartment on a like you could buy a sick fucking yacht for 11 million yeah like, like the sickest yacht for 11 million dollars you know what i mean but has like, it been successful like have they found enough buyers to make this thing float and travel and like because well they're like, building look, it i mean they are they're building, building the boat. It. yeah the boat yeah, that we'll that photo see. was a rendering but they are they are Plenty building this boat. buildings get halfway built and ships you know, it, yeah it might end up in some other direction but yeah I mean, one of the um, there you go, seven hundred twenty-eight foot Somnio, six hundred million Matt? dollar vessel. You, you seem I? interested? No, dude. I uh, <laughs> if I was gonna have a boat, it would be something that I could use. Uh, that would be big enough to live on for a week or two at a time, but small enough that I could manage it pretty much by myself. I'm, I don't want to be something paying like paying a crew under fifty. Monohull. Under oh. fifty for sure. My uh, my pops has a forty eight foot power boat. He does. He doesn't like to sail, but he's got a forty eight foot power boat, and I can manage that totally by myself. And I've lived on it for a week and a half at a time, and that's that's about right. Yeah. So I would fuck with that. I, I mean, it looks I awesome. I mean, I know those are just renderings, and that's oh, it looks and it's insane. All flat yeah, on it's face. insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and, it looks and sick. I mean, the 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 mega yacht space right now you know what what we've seen economically in the last you know two years is is the folks who have you know are really spending and so we've seen insane yacht builds that have been finished and um and and delivered and it's 300 footers and i mean just the fucking craziest shit you know that people are doing with their boats and um I talked to a guy, I, I have a friend, you know, I'm kind of a watch nerd. So yeah. I know this guy, Simon Wolf, who has a company called Wolf Watch Winders. And they're those things that oscillate and they keep your watches wound. Um, hmm. And and he's, ta he's talked to me about people who build into their yachts a, a 300 watch winder cabinet. Which Jesus is Christ. like, I mean, if you think about the implications of all that, you know, yeah. it's like, oh my God. They're I not know. putting fucking Timexes in there. I know. You know what <laughs> oh, I mean? yeah. I didn't even think about that yeah. side of it. Just a huge right. amount of money to commit. Just, he's like, think about the implications of that. And I'm like, that is some complicated furniture. He's right. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, talk, I'm <laughs> talking head. about probably, you know, these watches are a hundred, a hundred thousand to a million dollars, each of them. You know, so is the I furniture. Mean, so is the furniture. <laughs> yeah, that's probably that 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 unit's probably two million bucks. You know, I'd be so scared like it that. would sink all the time when I wasn't there. <sighs> that but the problem now, maybe I'm thinking of this wrong. Maybe I'm just not good at delegating. But my if I had a whatever hundred meter yacht, yeah, big yacht to me. So that's then a big yacht to everybody. Hundred meters has a huge fucking boat. It has a crew on it that oh, works yeah. there. It is and a, lives there permanently. As Matt knows, but maybe not everyone fully understands that when you have a boat in the water, it is in a constant state of deterioration. The, <laughs> yeah. the ocean is attacking it. It is mm -hmm. drying out the wood. It is th there's algae trying to grow on it. it is all it, houses are deteriorating. Yachts do that times fifty. Mm -hmm. So now you have a new job: maintain the yacht, like keep that thing going. And, and I guess you can just delegate it all if you're wealthy enough. Be like, well, you do you, to the crew. Yeah, uh, we. But, I just went to a, a you car have to and hire boat show. crew. I oh, guess yeah. you you delegate to a guy that hires the right crew. The and captain. 
Yeah, you delegate, you hire a captain and they hire the crew. It just feels to me like I have a new business that has only expenses and no revenue that I need to manage. <laughs> it could and have like, revenue. You could rent the boat out. You could charter it. It could oh, have revenue. And that, people do I mean, that. You're right. And I guess I kind of knew that, but didn't think of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they make money or if they just slow their losses. No, they just offset a offset expenses. I was just on a boat and and I went to this car show in Newport, Rhode Island. And um, Newport is really like a yachting kind of place. Mm -hmm. And so there was a, a party adjacent to the car show that was on a boat. And the boat was 160 feet, which is a fucking big boat. We're talking about like eight bedrooms, bitching, bitching boat, bigger than... 85% of the world's homes mm -hmm. and the boat was for sale because they were using the party to promote the sale of the boat. And this was a boat that was built like in 2008. So we're, you know, 12, 13 year old boat. And just for, a, just for a sense of scale, they wanted uh, $18 million for the boat. And we met the captain who was a very nice man had been on the boat for 10 years and the, he said that it was $2.3 million a year to operate. Jesus which Christ. Which included everything. Yeah. It's um, too much. It's, I mean, it's, it's just a whole other sense of, of financial scale. I can't, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't work in those with that many zeros. But we did go in the engine room. And <laughs> the, fucking, <laughs> the, the engineer was like a, a very Spicoli-like character. I mean, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if he was baked out of his face, but the <laughs> engines were twin 16-cylinder uh, diesels with turbos like like this. Like, I'm, my, I'm making a beach ball with my fucking hands. Mm -hmm. And they made 3,500 horsepower each. And that it, is and, somehow a lot and not that much. Right? It's both. It's both a lot and not that much. But the boat did um, 30 miles an hour, which imagine a 160-foot boat going 30. That's ripping. I mean, that's flat. I wonder fat. what a cruise liner can do. Because 20s, middle okay. 20s probably for a, for a big cruise liner. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we went that fast most of the time. No, they don't. They have like a like a you know a few yeah they're going in the high teens or 20, yeah, yeah yeah, and also it might it might be like kind of uncomfortable for passengers. Oh, know? I didn't consider that. I yeah. bet they also just have like a I don't know a time 